Hi, my name is Tommy and welcome back to my shop. So after I posted my video uh, of the 2x4 uh, challenge, my personal uh, ukulele challenge, um, I've started receiving questions about this tool that I've used to bend the sides. And I started answering by email to uh, the, que the question flow that I had and doing a lot of uh, copy and paste. But uh, my, my video is now nearing 10,000 views and it's getting a bit overwhelming uh, for, like time-wise to answer all the emails. So I figured I'm, I might as well uh, put a video on the actual tool itself and that way uh, I hope I'll be able to answer uh, the vast majority of your questions. So let's, let's have a look at it. So the tool itself is basically uh, an electrical system in a box with uh, an aluminum pipe and the there's a light bulb in it and the light bulb what what the light bulb does is it heats up the the pipe and then i can actually use that with some water to to steam it up so i'm gonna uh open it up and that way we can have a look at on the inside So let's start with the housing first. Uh, the housing for the the pipe itself is all made out of MDF, uh, which is three quarter inch. Uh, the hole here is only to serve a purpose to hook it on the side, to hang it on the side of my workbench. So that's the only purpose for that. And then uh, the aluminum pipe, as you can see inside, uh, is is right here, and I have a double layer of MDF. Uh, the reason for that is because the pipe is welded onto a flange and then the flange is sandwiched in between the, those two pieces. So the the pipe itself is uh, seven and three quarter including the three quarter inch here and then uh, the flange uh, is just a square piece so I'll just make you a little quick schematic of how it looks. So the aluminum pipe basically is welded onto a flange and it, with my day job it makes it easy for me to get uh, this part together because I'm in uh, the welding trade. Uh, so this was pretty fairly easy for me and fairly inexpensive as well. I rounded up the corners so uh, it was easier as well to match up with the, the inside of the, the, two, the two parts of MDF. But this, basically what happens is this is uh, fitted to the flange and welded all around. And then that gives me a lot of strength to, uh, to the actual uh, piece. Now the second part is the, it's where everything is happening. Uh, I have a 200 watt, watt light bulb. It's mounted on a ceramic plate. Uh, you don't want to use a plastic one here because it gets really really hot. And then uh, all the electrical uh, probably see on this side. So I have an, an X box here and a, a normal switch box at the top here and I have a dimmer. So basically it's just a normal light circuit uh, and uh, basically uh, one, once uh, the unit is plugged in, I can click it on, click it off, I can adjust my temperature uh, by adjusting how much uh, the dimmer sends electricity to the light bulb. Now the light bulb being inside the, the aluminum pipe creates the heat. Now for those of you who want uh, dimensions, uh, the pipe like I said was seven and three quarter plus the flange inside uh, I have a double MDF plate here. Uh, those ones are, wait a minute, six, six inch by six uh, at the front here. It's 12 inch long for the sides by six high. And then the base here would be 16 and one eight by seven and one eight. So that's for the base here. And like I said, it's three quarter MDF all around. And then basically you just want to make this one uh, in a way that 
it's going to match up the other one because that when I, I took it apart you notice it just slides in and out it makes it easy as well to to replace the light bulb whenever it burns uh, so this base plate is uh, 14 and 3 quarter and then and it's uh, 5 and 3 quarter wide then the top plate here is 7 and a quarter by 12 and 1 8 and uh, the dimmer can basically be wherever you want it and uh, you, you just have to center your height here when you do so the the light bulb is at 2 and 7 8 center from the base of the plate Now to put it back together, all I have to do is slide it in like such. Then I have a little notch here at the back for my cord. Then I just have to put all the screws back in. Now a three and a half inch uh, pipe, uh, aluminum pipe works really well to shape the, the whole sides of the guitar. Uh, it's big enough and it works well here uh, for the shoulders and, and the waist part. So uh, uh, that's the only one I use when I make a guitar, but when you look at the ukulele and a mandolin, like the scroll section and, and the points are pretty tricky. So I need something that's a bit smaller to, to get to those areas. So basically what I'll do, uh, the same when I, what I did with the ukulele is I use this one to get most of the band in and then I'll go down to a smaller one which is this one is an inch and uh, an inch and a half pipe and I use a blowtorch to heat it up so I'll just show you how this one works so the pipe itself is a piece of steel and I welded a piece of square bar on it the aluminum is just to keep most of the heat inside but I always leave a bit of room so uh, the extra can actually escape and um, if, you, if you don't have access to a welder, this one is still the easiest one to do. You can always put a through bolt and fasten it from the other side and use that same bolt to hold it in your vise. So uh, if you don't want to get into that big uh, tool that I just showed you, the electrical one, this one is the go-to one for sure. You can do guitars, you can do mandolins, you can do pretty much everything with this one. I put everything in my vise after that, so basically I've got a a little uh, stand that I made myself with the proper angle for the blowtorch and then the, the flame is going to go right into the pipe which is going to get heat, heated and then I'll be able to use that as a, as a steam bending part. As you can tell this one gets really really hot and the way you adjust the temperature would be with the torch knob here. Now, I also received questions about what kind of uh, steel I'm using for the bending the side. So that basically what that does is it prevents the, the splitting of the fibers on the top side. So if I, I'm working bending something, this is going to be on the upper side. The, the, the piece of wood would be in between the heating tool and the strip. Uh, the thickness of them are 16, if that. I'm not exactly sure how thick they are. Uh, it's stainless steel. It's not the memory steel you can buy from uh, Luthier uh, supply stores or whatever. Uh, so basically I have to give it back its shape every time. But it's really cost effective and uh, it works great for me. So that's what I'm using. So I've got some for mandolin building because they're narrower. And then I've got some for steel, uh, for uh, guitar making, sorry. So I hope this video answers most of your question about uh, this tool here that I was receiving a lot of question about. Uh, if you do have more questions, please ask them or just put a comment below and I'll be happy to uh, answer it. And um, if you haven't seen me use them, obviously I'm, I'm not building, I'm not bending size right now. So uh, uh, the way you could use, you could see me use it, uh, it's in the 2x4 ukulele uh, video. Uh, I'll leave a link here uh, if you want to have a look at it uh, if you haven't seen it yet uh, if you're new to the, the channel you can subscribe by pressing the button here as well um, I'll try to put a video weekly or bi-weekly as of late I've been stretching the weeks a bit because my wife and I just got a brand new boy and 
it's a bit harder to get in the shop, but I'll I'll get in the shop as soon back in the shop as soon as possible. Uh, so it, that's it for the this uh, video. Uh, let me know uh, if you like this video by clicking the like button. And uh, once again, thanks for stopping by. See you next time.